Hey, what's up team? Just on site right now. Wanted to show you guys a common issue with these true units. This is a uh, six drawer unit right here. Um, what happens is that sometimes customers double pan these. We have two pans here. We got this other pan sitting within that pan. And you have that issue where it starts hitting this, um, honestly, I don't even know what it's called, possibly air deflector. I'd have to look it up. But not only do you have that issue, but you also have another issue down below. And as you can see, this call came in as, hey, the unit's running warm. There's supposed to be a, uh, a middle mullion that goes right here. And it pretty much has that same issue as that top drawer. Oh. Let's see, these tops on here. We're gonna be installing that mullion. You can actually see that one over there, see that? When it goes back and forth, it just hits that thing and it pretty much busts out. Look right here. That piece of mullion actually broke right off. That flange is still fastened to that frame right here. We're also gonna be replacing that fan motor back there. And FYI, these fan motors, at least according to the manufacturer, they're all programmed. what the issue actually is so I'll let the manager know what's going on either show them or show them this video we have that first pan which is what it's supposed to be but then it's double panned over here as well right and it's those double pans I mean this is pretty much how we found it those double pans going in and out it just takes this thing out the other thing look at this pan over here I don't even know what that's doing but that's pretty much the issue going in and out um, the crew, you know, getting busy and everything, just slamming that thing. So we want to make sure that this is arranged properly so we don't have that issue. I've already installed a number of these, all in the same units. And I actually have one more I need to do on the other side of the store on a smaller unit. So hopefully they can make their adjustments and everything. If not, then we'll have to be replacing these over and over and over again. All right, guys. So just a quick view of that evaporator fan motor. I wanted to show you, I wanted to show everybody uh, what was going on with this thing. Now, going back to the original call for this unit, it came in as it was running warm. Um, the first few clips, I really didn't go over that. Uh, just kind of basically as far as what we found, what we ended up doing. So one of the things that we did notice that the middle evaporator fan motor wasn't working at all we checked to make sure that we did have power after we took it apart and we checked the outlet hopefully you can see it give me one moment get a light on this and you can actually see on the inside there those terminals were pretty much super corroded there's supposed to be three terminals on there one is missing. It actually got stuck in that plug when we pulled it out. Obviously, there is a computer board in there as this is an ECM motor. So this motor was done. What we ended up doing is we ordered up this evaporator fan motor as well as that middle mullion. Reason being is, according to the manufacturer, like I stated earlier, they need to be programmed. Um, typically we would stock these motors on our truck. The only thing is there's so many different 
types of evaporators now, or excuse me, um, units that are out there, and they all take a different evaporator fan motor, they all take different programming, so it's really hard to hold on to all these different components on your truck. With that being said, um, due to all the issues as far as the restaurant industry being shut down for a little while, um, we kind of started to reduce our truck stock because there's no sense in you know running around with all this stuff on our truck. So that was one of the things right there. So we got these parts ordered up. We got that middle mullion ordered up. Now I'm going to show you a picture on the screen here. Now one of the reasons why this was running warm, actually two reasons. One, that evaporator fan motor was out. Two, that middle mullion was out. Now as you can see right here on this picture, the, the mullion is actually installed. And what that does is it pretty much provides a surface for that top of the gasket for the bottom drawer as well as the bottom of the gasket excuse me the bottom part of the gasket for the top drawer to make contact now if that thing is missing you are pretty much just sucking in all this hot air and there's no way that that thing is gonna get down to temperature so one of the things that I recommended to the chefs earlier today was hey if you guys are having issues with any temperatures check to see if that thing is is still there I went over as far as the reason why I need to be there what was going on and you know everything that you had seen in the earlier clips was explained to the chefs so they understood they're um, gonna make the changes and everything and hopefully we don't have to deal with this issue anymore but that would, that's it on this particular model which it will be in the description has been an issue at a number of different stores. So I know that True sends out their, their own <clears throat> dividers as well as their own pans. I don't know if they sell stainless steel. They typically come with plastic, so they may be a different size, and that's kind of the reason why they configured it that particular way. So all in all, the best thing to do is try to use your OEM pans. Um, if not, go ahead and reach out to True or see if you can at least match up as close as you can to the OEM pan sizes or you're definitely going to have issues like this. Once you make sure that all the drawers and everything are working properly, there's nothing getting snagged, you should have your unit getting back down to temperature. Now, you know, every now and then there will be something else that's kind of going on, but you have to address the air infiltration first, whether it's the middle mullion, it's the gaskets, it's somebody leaving the drawer open. That's, that particular unit needs to remain closed when it's not in use, so it can actually get back down to temperature or keep the food at the temperature that's getting put in there. So hopefully this helps some people out. If there's any questions or anything, definitely let me know in the comments. I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. We're actually getting a little bit busy now. Um, things started kind of opening back up over here in California. We had some customers bringing back their PM maintenances and this is actually one of the stores that is bringing their stuff back online. And we actually haven't done the PM yet. They just happened to have an audit at their store and they got dinged, which forced us to have to go out there and, and scope out a few different units. I'm sure there's a lot more um, a lot more items and everything that we may be finding out there that are having issues that weren't you know brought up in, in the first place. But with that being said, let me know if you guys liked this video. If you did, definitely um, give it a like and if you haven't subscribed, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you all.